That's my shit. <laughs> what up? Welcome. I'm about to count down the 101 best villains like friggin' ever. Um, I made this list. Uh, covers villains from movies, cartoons, um, comic books specifically. Um, so my ranking system was kind of uh, their importance to the genre, uh, their importance to culture, um, their successfulness in culture, um, and then also it's my list. So what I say, so sit back and enjoy. All right, let's roll through these as quick as we can. Coming in at 101, Clayface. Very underrated character. I think he should be used more. Coming in at 100, Jareth, the Goblin King. Dance, magic dance. Coming in at 99, Negaduck from Darkwing Duck. Coming in at 98, from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers, Fat Cat, holding what I believe is the Maltese Mouse. Coming in at 97 is Captain Boomerang, featured in Suicide Squad, and he's also been on Arrow and I think The Flash. Pretty cool. Coming in at 98, Toad, who was in X-Men 1, played by Ray Park, who was also, also Darth Maul. Anyway, 95 is Dick Dastardly, uh, minus Muttley. <laughs> Coming in at 94 is Scar from The Lion King, played by Jeremy Irons. What a douche. 93 is Duke Igthorn from Gummy Bears. Pretty cool character. Uh, number 92 is Mastermind from the Marvel Universe. Uh, if you don't know much about him, you need to look him up, especially his role in the Dark Phoenix Saga. Uh, 91 is Archangel. Uh, I love Ben Foster as him. I loved uh, the other guys him in, in Apocalypse. Uh, he would have been higher on the list, except for sometimes he's a good guy. Coming in at number 90 is Leatherhead. Uh, pretty cool Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle character. 89 is Mojo. And uh, Mojo is crazy. I, I like that character quite a bit. Number 88, Jenner from The Secret of Nim. This guy's a serious fucking douchebag. Coming in at 87 is Beetlejuice. Michael Keaton never fails. Never, ever, ever. Coming in at 86 is the Shadow King. Uh, check out his role on Legion, as well as uh, the thing with Storm there. Number 85 is the Mandarin, who would be higher on the list if Marvel hadn't fucked him up in Iron Man 3. Coming in at 84, one of uh, the Punisher's main villains, Jigsaw. Uh, he's been in a couple movies, so pretty cool. Number 83 is Mr. Burns, off The Simpsons. That's apparently still on television. Number 82, Captain Bloth from Pirates of Dark Water, a severely underrated cartoon series. Number 81 is Brainiac. Uh, he's a linchpin character from the DC Universe. That's about all I know about him. Number 80, Marvin the Martian. Come on. Look how scary he is, right? 79 is General Zod, played by some guy here who was excellent in the role. Also, Michael Shannon was fantastic. 78 is Destro. I mean, he's fucking, he's Destro. 77 is Sauron, the pterodactyl guy, not the big eyeball guy. 76, Violator from Spawn, uh, played by John Leguizamo here. New movie coming soon, should be awesome. At 75 is Don Carnage from Tailspin. He's the leader of the Air Pirate. At 74, Sebastian Shaw, who was played by Kevin Bacon. He's the leader of the Hellfire Club or some shit like that whatever. 73 is Silver Samurai, who Fox tried very hard to fuck him up and almost achieved. Rolling in at 72 is Gargamel, this smurf eating motherfucker, one tooth having cat lover. Rolling in at 71, Solomon Grundy, who was apparently born on a Monday. Sitting at number 70 is Electro, who was sadly and poorly played by Jamie Foxx. Number 69, The Vulture. Michael Keaton, again, fucking killed it, bro. 68, Bullseye. I mean, he killed Elektra. So, you make the list if you kill somebody, I guess. 67, Show enough! If you've never seen The Last Dragon, go buy it now. 66, Lobo. Alien bounty hunter guy. Should be getting a movie soon. 65, the T-1000 from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. 
he was also in the faculty, but not as that guy. Danny Glover, get to the chopper. Yeah, anyway, 64 is the Predator. 63 is Pyro. He was in a few of the X-Men movies. Um, yep. 62 is Aquaman's main villain is Squeeze, Black Manta. 61 from Captain Planet, Duke Nukem. The radioactive guy, not the Nazi killer guy. Number 60, Omega Red from the X-Men universe. Great character, super Russian. 59, Robotnik from Sonic the Hedgehog, who's just a fat dude with a giant mustache. 58, Captain Cold from Flash, Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, this dude plays the character really, really well. 57, Krang from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, who was awful in the newest movie. 56, The Sandman. Thomas Hayden Church did a great job in Spider-Man 3, even though the movie, I'll agree, was not great. 55, Bizarro Superman fucking zombie guy. Whatever. Number 54, Mr. Mixelplick. Mixelplick. Flickle dick. 53, the Riddler. I mean, it's fucking Riddler. He's on the list. 52, Mr. Sinister. I fully expect him to be in an X-Men movie very, very soon. 51, Sinestro. <clears throat> Used to be part of the Green Lantern Corps. Now he's using yellow power like a douche. 50, fucking Deacon Frost. Steven Dorff fucking killed it. 49, Mysterio. Very sad he has not popped up in a movie yet. Very underrated. 48, Galactus, Devourer of Worlds. 47, Ganon. 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 Legend of Zelda. 46, <clears throat> Poison Ivy. I mean, she wears green stuff. Ross Al Ghul. 45, leader of the assassins. 44, the classic Megatron, not the bullshit Michael Bay version. Fuck. 43, the blob. <clears throat> He's just a fat guy. 42, Bowser from Mario. I mean, the games get him on the list, even though he's not that cool. Not my favorite character, but... He's pretty popular. 41, Doc Ock. Wiley Coyote. Super genius. Rolls in at 40. Don't look down, bro. At number 39 is the Kingpin. Michael Clark Duncan was fine, but Vincent D'Onofrio fucking killed it. 38. This is going to piss people off, but here's the Catwoman. Um, and now coming up at 37 is Black Cat, Marvel's version of Catwoman. But it's Marvel, and I like it better. So what? Sue me. I flipped a coin, and this is where Two-Face landed at number 36. You know, Harvey Dent. 35 is the Penguin. Great character. Danny DeVito was great. I even like the one from 66. Charging in at 34 is the Rhino. We're all lucky that Jim Carrey has not popped out of his butt. 33 is Dark Seed. I used to have this action figure. It was pretty cool. Kind of like Apocalypse, but the DC version. 32. Fuck this bitch. Oh my god. Thanks for the fucking nightmares. Fuck. Number 31. Slade Wilson, a.k.a. Deathstroke. Great character on Arrow. Number 30. Fucking Siler from Heroes. This dude carried that show all the way through, even though I loved all of it. 29. Disney, we want him. Bring us fucking Carnage. At 38, Gorilla Grodd. I don't even like big monkeys, but this dude's pretty slick. 20 fucking 7. Loki, master of mischief. 26 is the lizard, probably my favorite Spider-Man villain. He's up there. At 25, Mystique. Great character, great mystery. Hence the name Mystique. 24, Agent Smith. I like all three of those movies. If you don't, then tough shit. You're lame. 23 is Harley Quinn. Super up-and-coming character. Started in the 90s. Yep. Looky, looky, I got hooky. 
At 22, it would be bad form if I didn't have him on the list. At 21, Thanos. I mean, they've been building up to this dude for like fucking 10 years now. Gotta be on the list. Number 20, probably my favorite Batman villain, the Scarecrow. I mean, it's just, it's perfect. Say it with me. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Number 19. At 18, I, he's a little high, but he's such an iconic character. Skeletor from He-Man. 17, one of the most powerful beings ever, the Dark Phoenix. At 16, Harry Potter, I'm Lord Voldemort. I have no nose. At 15, probably the most popular Spider-Man villain, the Green Goblin. 14 is the Cobra Commander. Again, I think he's high, but he's so iconic. But the movies did suck ass. 13, surprise, surprise, you did not see this coming. Did you? 12, the Red Skull. Hugo Weaving makes his way onto the list again because he's such a great actor. Number 11, Doctor Doom. We are yet to get a great cinematic performance. Number 10 is Lex Luthor. Uh, everybody that's played this guy has pretty much nailed it, I think. Here's the part where you tell me what a douche I am, but at number 9 is the Joker. And, for the record, Nicholson, Romero, Hamill, Ledger, Leto. That's the order. Number 8, Reverse Flash. Flash is my favorite DC character. Ergo, Reverse Flash is high on this list. Number 7, The Shredder. Oroku Saki. Number 6 is Apocalypse. From the cartoons, the comics, and yes, even the movie, this dude is badass. Number five, Sabretooth. It's just, he's like Wolverine, but a bad guy. You can't go wrong there. Ancient spirits of evil transform this decayed form into number four on the list. Number three is Venom. And that's where I stand on that. So there. Number two, Darth Vader. It's his rightful place in the universe, what can I say? And number one. The master of magnetism, Magneto. He's got a bunch of cool kids, and he's a badass. There you have it. 101 villains that I think are cool enough to make a list. Um, if you like the list, leave me a comment. If I left somebody off, leave me a comment. Uh, if you thought somebody was too high or too low, tell me. I'm glad to listen. I like talking about these things. It's what I do. Um... Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe down there somewhere. The red button, pretty sure. If you're on Facebook, like the page. Um, and we're also on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter. So wherever you're watching this, do the thing with the thing. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.